Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at passing data to an activity using an intent. So we've already seen how to start um, an in a activity using an intent and for example um, here I've got this application and if I click the right points here it starts, um, actually that was the wrong points, if I click the right points it starts another activity and this is my main activity and if I click this lock button here it will go back to this activity so we're starting um, one activity from another and I've also implemented this options menu here and if I click this um, again it goes back to this image activity and the code that does that is this little thing here so um, this is the um, item selected uh, method for my options menu and when I when I hit pass, password pass points reset it just creates this uh, this intent and uses it to start this image activity now what I want to do is um, you see that I've got um, uh, several different or at least a couple of different um, uh, places now where I start my my image activity from my main activity and um, I want to tell the, the image activity in this case that if I start it here that it should reset the password and to do that I'm going to have to send some data to my image activity to let it know that it, it shouldn't just um, lock the screen by displaying the image it actually needs to do something different so um, I'm going to pass some data with this intent to my image activity which the image activity can then get hold of um, and do something with and it's really just going to be actually um, like a, a flag to the image activity to tell it to do something so um, we'll, look at a, we'll look here at the simplest possible case of passing data to a um, activity but you'll easily see how to use this for more complex cases and um, the intent uh, class actually has a method called put extra put extras so if I do um, i dot put extra yeah put extra there it is and um, you can see that there's a whole bunch of put extra methods here and they all basically um, they all have a string name um, which is kind of an ID a key that identifies the bit of data you're passing and then there's different overridden methods for passing different um, kinds and different types of data so here I just want to pass a boolean so I'm just going to use this one here now for the key um, I, can, I can just type a string here if I want but I'll define here a public static final string um, let's say reset let's give it a name um, reset pass points and I'll give it the string reset pass points as well let's say reset pass points um, so this isn't really necessary but um, we're just making sure that we use the same string um, in both activities by, by using this constant here so um, let's go back here and now so the name for this the key for this value I'm going to use this string that I just defined, reset pass points, and the value I just set to true, and that's all I want to do here. I just want to purely pass a little flag to say to the image activity, yes, you need to um, you need to reset, let the user reset the the pass points here. Now to um, receive this at the other end is um, almost as simple as this. So I'll go to my image activity, which is the activity I'm starting and here's my onCreate method and what I'll do is, so this is the bit where it's actually deciding uh, what to do, whether to um, allow the user to set the pass points or to um, just allow them to enter them so before that I just want to get that data and see if we need to do something different and there's a method called getIntent and that will get the intent that started this um, activity and um, I'm going to say get intent dot get 
extras which returns a thing called a bundle so let's say here bundle bundle extras equals and bundle is just like a bundle of data stored by keys um, so if you haven't done if you haven't done put extra when you started the intent or let's say um, that this activity was started by an intent that was just from the phone we didn't we didn't actually send an intent ourselves then this extras will be null so get intent will never return null but get extras could certainly return null if you haven't done put extra so uh, let's check here we'll say if extras is not equal to null and um, then I can say uh, let's say boolean boolean um, reset pass points equals and now I can just do extras dot get boolean get boolean of course because I um, I passed the boolean here using the boolean version of put extra and if you passed an integer you know it's going to be get uh, integer or whatever get int I don't know so here I'll use the key that I predefined here it's the key that I, I passed in here of course and we'll say um, main activity dot reset pass points there's my key and finally of course I can say um, and this is just specific to this application I just say if reset pass points uh, reset the pass points here so um, it's, it's very simple um, just do put extra and then here get your um, get your bundle using getintent.getextras and then use an appropriate method to get the particular extra with um, the particular key that you use to pass in that extra bit of data now the uh, the next step to actually make this work is is just standard java specific to this application there's no new android concepts here we've gone over everything before so i'll do this outside this video and again if you're following along typing this as you go along then um, here's a chance to kind of practice your java if you like and uh, so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding